good evening and welcome my name is Sandra my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome how are we all doing in this lovely holiday season are we all doing all right are we all getting our plans underway are we sorting ourselves out getting ourselves ready for Christmas yay we are good I'm glad you are because I am so behind on everything that I need to do so 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 behind but that's another story <laughs> honestly I'm just it's like all these plans I had I didn't write them down and that's the problem if I don't write down my plans then that's it they just stay plans they, they don't get actioned and I didn't write them down so I'm um, already what's the date today it's the 9th of December and I've literally executed nothing that I wanted to do so far apart from today today I managed to go to the hairdressers so take my daughter out an early Christmas treat um, went to the hairdressers up in London today that was a long day so like nearly three hour drive there nearly three hour drive back and literally the whole day there because my daughter's hair is it's a, it's a whole thing it's a whole thing I'll put some pictures up of um, my daughter's hair at the beginning the before the middle and the after and you see she's had a pretty good transformation and you can see that I've had a what they call a silk press so I've got my hair washed um, washed and conditioned deep conditioned all of that and for some reason you go to a hairdresser's and they always want to straighten your hair so yeah they strained my hair but don't get used to it it's not something I'm gonna have permanently I'll, I'll be going back to my natural state <laughs> very soon I just never feel comfortable having my hair in a natural state like this anyway that's not why we're here today. Today we are doing the December Rocker Box. So it's the last box of the year. I'm hoping it's going to be a winner because if I remember correctly, last month's box wasn't that great. So Rocker Box, monthly subscription box. They recently put the prices up from £10 to £15 per month plus £3.95 postage and packaging. So it's £18.95 a month. We do get, I think it's like five full-size items in there, five to six full-size items items in there as I said last month's box did not hit the spot with me normally at least there's one item in the box which I think right okay I've covered my costs here I'm more than happy but I don't think last month did it so I'm just gonna do a quick recap of last month's box because I literally can't remember so the first item was from Mud Masky and it was a mineral infused cleanser that I gave away I know I gave that away and I, and I put that in the um I put that in the, God, I'm so tired, the giveaway box, which my giveaway winner, for those of you who don't know, was Sharon Gray, all confirmed boxes. Is it on its way? No, I still saw it out in the, because I did ask my husband to post it out for me today. He didn't do it. So that means I'm going to have to do it tomorrow, which is most likely going to be Saturday when I'll post it out. So Sharon, your box will be going out on Saturday. So that means you'll get it early next week. All right. Okay. Right. So that's still out there. So the mud masking I put inside there. The other product was the Symbiosis Tightening and Resplendent Eye Mask. What did I do with that? Did I keep that? I think I kept that, but I haven't used it as yet because I've got other things I'm using at the moment. Then there was the Daily Concepts Reusable Rounds. Um, I've kept that, so I haven't started using them yet, but it's just a typical reusable round, so there's nothing wrong with those. That's okay. Then there was the Bloom and Blossom... Um, dry body oil i have been using that and i really like it. it i really like it um it was in a blue bottle i don't know if it was full size or not but i have been using it and it's really moisturizing i like it because what i'm using at the moment or what i was using was the avon skin so soft and i've been using that to spray on my back i told you guys loads of times i've got a really dry dry back i don't know why oily face and extremely dry back so i use a spray oil normally for my back and um, yeah, I started using that. That is good. That I would definitely get hold of again. I can't remember what the price of it was. I think the price was what kind of put me off from repurchasing it. So it's something that if I was to get in another subscription box again, I wouldn't be unhappy. Or if I saw it on sale, I would definitely snap it up. But I don't think I would buy it at the full price, which they were quoting. Because I think it was something like £20 for it. And like the skin so soft is what? £4, £5? 
you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's that. And the last product was from Skin Chemist, and it was an advanced brightening toner, um, which I put inside the giveaway box as well. And there was an extra treat. It was an extra treat was the El Saab Le Parfume. And I think I felt, I think I thought that smelled disgusting, if I remember correctly. Yep, I'm pretty certain that perfume smelled disgusting to me. So, last month's box was like... Uh, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't great but i did love that that body oil that dry body oil so this is this month's box as i said here we go it was there waiting for me oh it's slightly sort of tingly rattling sounding there that sounds interesting i wonder what it is so let's open this up and see what we got whoa right i should have got my scissors and my scissors here let's open this up Okay, okay, what have we got? So we've got this new fancy way of opening our boxes now. So let's have a look. Right, okay, that's what it looks like on the inside. Let's see what our theme is. So our theme is winter wish list so it says working behind the scenes at rocker box means that all year round we get to try out the very best the beauty world has to offer but this doesn't mean we don't have our own beauty wish list constantly growing in our minds they're usually full of products that we're yet to and desperate to try all products that our own skin hair bodies seem to be craving our current wish list list collectively we will call them our winter wish list look a lot like a checklist of must-have beauty products to navigate the winter months making it onto our winter wish list isn't easy we want hard-working skincare known for its ability to calm and nourish a winter-worn complexion. We need hybrid products that can inject pallid skin with a season-defying glow. We expect makeup that will be able to see us through every single date in our extensive diaries. I don't think anybody's going out this year, this Christmas, going by how the um, the current government have been partying when everybody else was in lockdown i don't think well you know what i think everyone's just going to ignore what the government says this year because they broke the rules so i think everyone else is going to break the rules as well so you know what everyone go party just be safe just go out and party don't listen to what they say don't listen to me don't listen to me honestly right Anyway, so we'd like additions that can bring drama and glamour to our makeup bags. A classic red nail gloss, okay, um, is always on there. And there will always be a request for a hydrating hero. One that can be relied on to plump out prune-like dry winter skin. I don't really have that problem. So this month we're bringing you the very products that have made it onto our current winter wish list. The edit products that made our own personal cut. We hope this box worth over £100 brings you all the skincare saviours you'll need to get through the winter, as well as all the glow, glamour and spirit of this season to your bathroom cabinet. Well, I hope there's some chocolate in there. Just, you know, just, just in case. So this is all love from the Rocker Box team. Okay, let's go. So we know we're going to have a red nail varnish in there, which is all good um there's going to be something for dry skin i've got very oily skin so we'll see something for pallid skin pallid is not a term that's often used with deeper darker skin tone unless we're dead of course and i don't want to look like a corpse today let's delve in i'm just going to pull out the first thing and see what we got okay i've got this already um I've got this already and I do use this. So this is from Figs and Rouge. I do like Figs and Rouge. I do like the products, decent quality products. They're not the cheapest of brands, but the products are decent. I like them. So this is like a, it's like a, a liquid glow highlighter sort of thing. So it gives you that lit from within. That's that phrase they use, isn't it? Um, so this is a glow elixir. So it says here, a glow distinctive, distinctive, brightening and cleansing elixir designed to delight and intensify skin's natural glow it revitalizes energizes your skin with a perfectly perfecting and soothing complex to re-energize complexion it smooths multi was it multi-hued minerals rose water and rose quartz complex help intensify radiance and skin perfection it hydrates 
So it delight delightfully hydrating with hyaluronic acid, vitamin A, C and E to defend naturally against daily moisture loss. Okay. I mean, as I said, I do use this product and I'm actually using it um, at the moment. For some reason, it seems all right to work with me at the moment in the winter. So I'm using it on days when I'm not wearing makeup. So I will sort of do my, my, my daytime skincare, whatever it is. And then I'll put this on before I'll put a foundation on. Or even if I'm not wearing a foundation, I will put this on on top or mix it in with my moisturiser. So I don't mind this because it's not something that's very very oily so um, it's not going to create a, 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 a ridiculous sheen on my face it just gives my skin a natural nice glow so this product I don't mind I'm happy about let's see what they say I know it ain't cheap so let's have a quick look and see what they say so figs and rouge charm glow elixir intensifying natural glow with this unique um, product it's an elixir so a serum makeup hybrid that treats your complexion naturally with skin nourishing ingredients um hydrated hyaluronic acid brightening vitamin c protective vitamin e smoothing rose water whilst leaving behind a hint of illumination and shimmer use without makeup to enhance your natural complexion which is how i use it as well or under foundation mixed with your foundation for extra glow so i don't mix it with my foundation well that's just me because i've got oily skin i'll use it before the foundation stage Thirsty winter dry skin will drink this hydrating formula and pallid winter worn complexions will love the boost to radiance it leaves. And it costs £34. So that's the value of my box there straight away. Um, I didn't say at the beginning. What I tend to like with my beauty box subscriptions, whatever I pay for it, I like the retail value of the products that I will end up using to be double. So in this case, it's £18.95. So I'm looking for what? 36 £37.98. So this is giving me 34 pounds already so i only need to find another four pounds and i've got my value in this box really but this product i do like i do like that so i'm very happy with that cool next let's bring out the next thing in here let's have a little delve what's this now oh we've got emma hardy oh i do like emma hardy and it's the morning cleansing balm okay so i'm happy this box has done it for me already okay i do like this this is really nice it's a solid um i'm not gonna oh can i open it yeah i'll open it oh i will open it because it is a nice product so it's like that it's like a solid oil and it's got a really kind of essential oil kind of herbally kind of scent um very invigorate invigorating i think that's the one i'm looking for it's very uplifting the fragrance it's one of those that you want to take your time and use it and enjoy the moment using it i know they say you should do that with your beauty products but most of us just kind of and it, out we go this product i would suggest do take your time with it's lovely you just need a little bit warm it up in your hands massage it in and put it on your face and then use it like an oil cleanser so if you're doing your sort of double double cleansing you're using your oil to lift up your makeup get rid of all that hard makeup the eyeliners the mascaras and all of that lift it all off massage it and then sort of wash your face down then go on with your second cleanser so it could be whatever you use your foaming cleanser or your gel cleanser whatever you use go on with your second cleanser but you tend to need this sort of oil sort of based cleansers to really lift all your makeup up because trust me if you just use one product you will not get all your makeup off trust me on that especially if you do um full face of makeup like you know like i do but yeah this product i love it's a good product i do like that one so we're on a winner there straight away cool so we've got here emma hardy moringa cleansing balm replacing your usual liquid cleanser or cleansing foam with a cleansing balm is a worthwhile move during the winter months well i did during the summer as well the formula feels more nourishing more luxurious and comfortable on dry wintered out skin this particular version a cult product amongst beauty editors is a particular joy it's yeah it's a particular joy excuse me sorry a particular joy um, to include in your evening regime nicknamed spa in a jar so that's exactly what i'm talking about with that, that whole uplifting luxurious feeling um, this buttery soft balm will melt away all traces of makeup leaving skin super clean but soft it smells amazing too we predict you'll quickly become converted so this little size is worth 10 pounds yeah because i think the full size of this is about 30 pounds 32 pounds it's a good little product it's a hard-working good product and it will last you what you've got here will last you easily a month 
if you use it every night no, easily probably a couple of months to be honest cool two products i'm happy the rest of it can be crap now but hopefully it's not right let's delve in what we've got here what we've got here what's this it's a little tubey thing so we got a little tubey thing of a Evolu hydrating serum. That's this. Right, what's this then? Hydrating serum. Am I going to use this? Let's have a look. So we got from Evolu hydrating serum. This award-winning serum tops up into wish list for its super hydrating benefits thanks to a unique formula of high low and super low molecular hyaluronic acids this serum is far superior to many of its hyaluronic acid peers in its ability to hydrate repair and plump up dry dehydrated and dull complexions a real skincare wonder particularly while the weather is colder harsher and more drying on our skin so this uh well this is a deluxe mini um so i'm assuming they're saying here's 24 pounds but it's not going to be 24 pounds for this little amount, is it? Is it? It's a deluxe mini. It's got to be 24 pounds for the full size, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look and I'll put the right details on the screen for you. But if this is 24 pounds, then this is some serious shit. Sorry, I didn't swear. Sorry. It's late in the evening. This is some serious stuff, is what I meant to say. Family friendly channel and all that. Not supposed to be swearing. I'll continue moving on quickly. Right, what we got here? What we got here? This is okay. Doctors Comesutical Beauty Blur. Fill skin confident with a photo finish effect in a flash. Minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and uneven skin texture. Helps to lock in moisture and keep makeup in place. So is this like a primer? I'm not sure. So this is what we got here. I've never seen this product before, so I can't tell you anything about it from experience. So let's see what they say about this. This is Doctor's Formula Blur. This is basically photo finished skin in a tube. Used on a bare face or under makeup, this velvety gel blurs the appearance of pores, lines and uneven skin texture, leaving a smoother base for makeup and a soft focus finish on nude skin. We chose this paraben free product because we love that it blurs the line between complexion loving skincare and primer. So yeah. Um, we stayed for the incredible filter effect smoothing action it has on our bare skin. Recommended retail price for this is £89. This, again, is some serious stuff. <laughs> Try not to swear. Damn, this be expensive. It's 30 mil, so I'm assuming it's full size. 89 quid. Yowza. Right, okay. All right, well, I'm going to give that a go because, again, sometimes during the day, I don't wear makeup and I'll just put on something like... Um, well, it's normally something like this, moisturiser in this. So, um, I'm just trying to think, how could I use the two of these together? I can't see how I would, to be honest. It's going to be one or the other, isn't it? I don't know. I need to play around and see if they can, the two can work together. I mean, my skin's not textured. It's just I've got some uneven skin tone. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. And this final product, this looks like it's a makeup product here from Laritzi. Not a brand that I love, but let's see what we got here. So this is from Laritzi. This is an artistry palette in burnt. For all your days out, dates in and everything in between, this full-size eyeshadow palette, oh, it's an eyeshadow palette, has you covered for the uninitiated. This is a best-selling makeup artist favourite of five buildable, blendable eyeshadows. I've opted for the burnt colourway, a stunning combo of shades from burnt orange and pecan to metallic copper of shades from burnt, sorry, say that again. I'll read that again. For the uninitiated, this is a best-selling makeup artist favourite of five buildable, blendable eyeshadows and we've opted for the burnt colourway, a stunning combo of shades from burnt orange and pecan to metallic copper and gold that work just as well in the day as they do at night. Stick to matte neutrals for the office, 
brunch dates, weekend strolls through the park, then up the ante with the shimmering shades once the sun has set. Ready for some nighttime debauchery? What are they thinking? Flipping heck. They must be going to the um, Westminster Parliament parties if they're talking about debauchery. So we've got recommended retail price for this is £25. Come on, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Because the colours sound interesting. I mean, the warm shades, it sounds like. Okay, so that's what the packaging looks like. Very sleek. Can't go too far wrong with black and gold. And let's have a look. Okay. Okay. It's not bad, actually. Let me see that. Not bad at all. So I'm not sure if you're getting the true effect of the colour. So this is like a... Well, it is. It's like a, a burnt orange. It's like a brownie colour. Um, let's do a little swatch. So it's soft. That's what the colour looks like there. And on my skin tone, that's what it looks like. Can you see that? Right. Then you've got this more sort of terracotta colour here. Um, let's use my middle finger. So this is like a terracotta. That's what it looks like. And I'm not giving you the middle finger. Honestly, I'm not. Okay. So these are very pigmented colours. And you can see it comes off very easily. Very pigmented. A little bit of um, fallout if you're using a brush. But don't worry about that. Then we've got a shimmer shade here in the middle. So this is like a copper shimmer shade here. So if I show you that on my complexion, right, I'm just going to, oh dear, I can never do this very well. Shall I put it there? I'll put it there. Okay. But again, very pigmented. Very pigmented. Then we have, oh, what we got here? We've got this colour here. So it's like a lighter burnt orange. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with the, the words they're using, burnt orange. So there we go here. Okay, and then we have a lighter gold, a more goldy, um, bronzy colour right at the end here. Um, oh God, <laughs> what a mess. Right, there we go. They are very, very pigmented. Those are what the colours look like on me. I mean, I could do stuff with this. I, I, I yeah, I could do stuff with that. But, hmm, all right. Right, so after last month's very meh box, I'd say this box is pretty good. For me, personal opinion here, so from my perspective, this box is pretty good. I like it. I can use everything in this box. I'm going to play around with this Blur product, so this one here. I'm going to play around with that, see how that works, and see how I can fit that into my skincare um, routine. The hydrating serum, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give this a go. Um, again, winter, it's cold, so yeah, all, all that kind of stuff I, I use. And normally, hydrating serums and things like this, I tend to only use at night time, but it is winter, it's cold. I'm going out doing visits more now, so um, yeah, I, I put this stuff on my face. I'm protecting my face when I go out there, right, because I live by the coast. It's windy, the wind will blow you off your feet. When the rain falls, so you've got the wind going, then you've got the rain going in your face, and it's like, yeah. Umbrellas are just a waste of time, so it's like a bubble hat on and you just got to fight your way through. So all of this kind of stuff is, is great. And then we go home, central heating on, so you know, our skin's getting bad a little bit. So we do need to look after our skins a little bit. Because ladies, this is a 52 year old here. Yes, the oil skin has helped quite a bit, but I haven't got a line on my face. And that's because I've been using moisturizers and products like that since I was little. So I don't underestimate the power of using moisturizers on your face. Don't just wash your face and go, put something on your face to protect. So things like these little serums here, use them, especially when you get them in your beauty boxes. But yeah, I, I, I'm kind of liking this box. I would use everything in this box, so this box is a winner. Would it be nice to have a little bit of chocolate though? A little lint bar or something like that? But you know, Ferrero Rocher? But I'm just being fussy. 
good box. I like it. It's a nice way to end the year because I was thinking about, okay, am I going to keep this box up? £18.95? Um, all the boxes, literally all of them have put their prices up. I'm waiting for Glossy Box to put their price up because I'm sure they're going to. They're going to, aren't they? They've got to. Everybody else has, so they've got to put their boxes up as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to continue with Rocker Box for now, especially if we, we do more boxes like this and not like last month's one. But if you've received your box, tell me what you think. Did you get the same things? And are you thinking the same way I am about the box? Yay? Nay? And if you don't get Rocker Box, what did you think about it? Would this would this box tempt you? If it does tempt you, I do have a referral code. It's in the description box. You'll get something off your first box. I have no idea what it is. I think you get something like 30% off your first box. So yeah, use the code. Get yourself a bit of a discount and try the box out. Um, do they give a hint for January? So January, we've got a sneak peek and it's from Paradox. And it looks like it is a, I do not know what it says. It looks like some sort of mask some sort of hair mask maybe oh we like a hair mask paradox oh yeah paradox i remember paradox got a whole load of stuff from them in another subscription box where we had um a full a whole lot of hair products from them i like hair paradox yeah so we've got a repair game changer hair mask full size it's worth 15 pounds in next month's box well that's the cost of the box isn't it right there you go guys that is it so i'm going to try and do a couple of videos this weekend because i tend to film thursday fridays and saturdays so you'll see a few videos coming up from me over the next few days get starting to get a little bit more christmassy it's taking me a bit of a while but i'm getting there slowly all right guys have a great evening or a great day or a great morning or a great afternoon whatever time you're watching this i'll see you soon take care bye